uh, this holiday season is going to be the fourth where former uh, St. Clair's employees, hospital employees, will have to go without their retirement money. But some new developments are now being seen finally in the case. A judge ruling that the St. Clair's pensioner lawsuit against the Albany Diocese will merge with the Attorney General's lawsuit filed back in May. News ABC's Juliana Bruno has the very latest. Mary Hartshorn has been the face and voice of more than a thousand former St. Clair's Hospital employees in their fight to get their pensions back. It's been over four years since they heard the pension fund ran dry, and Mary's been fighting ever since. I, I was listening to a talk show on the radio the other day, and a, a man called in and said, I don't know who that woman is from St. Clair's, but she must be crazy. They're not going to get anything. I can't believe she keeps saying they're gonna get it. He said she must have a lot of faith. I thought, well, you're right. A lot of faith and help from AARP Foundation attorneys who took on her case against the Roman Catholic Diocese of Albany in 2019. In May of this year, AG Letitia James filed a lawsuit against the diocese, alleging it failed to contribute to the pension plans. A judge recently ruled the cases should be joined together. Senior attorney at AARP Foundation Merrill Grenadier said the AG's office has been working alongside her team this whole time, trying to put the pieces together about how this money ran out. We're both seeking the same thing and that's justice for the pensioners, um, you know, getting back the pension that, that these hardworking people earned. The Diocese of Albany has previously said it disagrees with the AG's lawsuit and said additional litigation will further delay resolution of the case. They've also pointed to the St. Clair's Corporation as being responsible for the pension fund and asserted that they never owned or managed it. Senator Jim Tedisco has been a vocal advocate for the pensioners. He's often called on New York State and federal lawmakers to do more to make up for the money lost. This was the hospital of last resort for people who couldn't afford to pay for health care. They did a tremendous job. Nobody told them they were going to lose their pension. They could have planned in other ways. Hartshorn is hopeful with the progress and number of active filings in the case. We'll get through this. I tell you that every year and I mean it. And we will win. Juliana Bruno, News 10, ABC.